Hey everyone, welcome to another video with me. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find the most grey point in a photo. The white and the dark are fairly easy using the thresholds, but the grey one is a little bit more difficult if you don't know how to do it. So I'm going to show you in this video. Okay, so once you have your image open, you can go to your level adjustment layer and choose layers, uh, levels, sorry. So for the white and black, I'm not going to go through those into too much detail. I have checked on this image where to find them. So for the gray one, we just need to create a new layer under the adjustment level, under the adjustment layer, sorry. And we want to fill that with 50% gray. So I'm just going to do shift and backspace. And over here, it will probably open up as foreground color for you. But for me, I'm going to choose 50% gray and click OK. And over here in the blending mode, you want to go to difference. And that looks terrible, doesn't it? But this is how it works. And once you've done that, you want to go down and create a threshold adjustment layer. Move this slider here all the way to the left. Okay, and then you want to slowly bring it back. Just slowly. You want solid pieces like that would do quite well. Let's just zoom into that. Yeah, so that's, that's a good spot right there. Get your eyedropper tool just on the toolbar over here. And holding down shift, you just want to click where you want to leave the marker and control zero to zoom out. Go back to your layers. We don't need those, the threshold layer or the gray layer anymore. Just delete them. So you can see here, it's left our little pointer there where the most gray point is. So I'm going to go back to the levels layer. So the most white point, I'm just going to choose over there. The most dark point, which would be the bark. And the most gray point, which we've just created. We'll find out where it is is over there so let's that's the before and that's the after it's looking pretty good hope you found this story helpful please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and enable the notifications to be notified of any future tutorials thank you